what's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to delete stubborn files and folders in Windows 11. The steps that I show you here work just as well for Windows 10, though things may look a little bit different. When exactly do you come across this issue? Well, when you're deleting files from other users, old Windows installs, etc. There's a few ways around it, and assuming you have permission to delete the files, nothing should be stopping you. For this example, I'll just be using a random file and a random folder. Usually you're able to just simply right click and delete them, or of course, select them, press the delete key, or shift delete to skip the recycle bin. Pretty simple. If you're not able to delete them using normal methods, there's a couple of different things we can try, starting with the command line. Hit start and type in CMD. Select command prompt and run as administrator. Click yes when prompted, and a new window will pop up. Inside of here, for a file, type del del space forward slash f space forward slash q space forward slash a, followed by the path of the file. So right click the file you want to delete and click copy as path, then paste it in here and hit enter. The file should then be removed. For directories, there's a few different options that we can use, but the simplest is rmdir, remove directory space forward slash s space forward slash q, and once again, the path. So space, right click the folder, copy as path and paste it in here with control V. Then hit enter and the folder and all of its files, folders inside of it, etc., will then be deleted. If you're someone who prefers PowerShell or these didn't work for you, hit start, type in terminal and open the Windows terminal as administrator. So right click, run as admin, yes. And inside of here, simply make sure it says Administrator Windows Power. Otherwise, click the drop down and select Windows PowerShell here. Inside of PowerShell, we can type remove hyphen item space hyphen path space followed by the file we want to delete. So once again, right click the file, copy as path, click in here, control V and enter. Super simple. Something else we can try is a program called Take Ownership. This will usually help you with any sort of permission issues that you could be having on your computer, especially if you're the only person using it, you shouldn't be having these issues in the first place. In the description down below, you'll find a link to Take Ownership. Simply click download now and wait for the download to start. When it finishes, open the zip file that we just downloaded, extract everything, close it, and run add take ownership. Click yes and run, yes again, and finally okay. Now, whenever you find a file that you can't delete or edit, modify, etc., talking about permissions, all you have to do is select it, right click, show more options, and then choose take ownership. Then after clicking yes, you should then be given full permission to the file, the folders, etc. You'll be able to edit them and of course delete them if you'd like. You can delete them using normal methods or using the command prompt methods that we showed earlier. If you'd prefer to remove this software when you're done with it, double click remove take ownership. Super simple. Otherwise, you may be someone who prefers similar software that can do easy tasks like this. One of the most popular bits of software for this is called Unlock It by Emco Software. Simply head across to the link in the description down below, download the freeware, click download once again and open the installer when it's done downloading. Then we can click yes, next, agree, next, next, typical, next and install. When it's done, make sure launch is ticked, click finish and inside of the software here, we have the ability to unlock files and folders or simply delete files and folders. If you'd like, you can also check them here, which you can also do by dragging and dropping them into the program as such. If a file shows up as locked or anything like that, then you know it's not just you. If you do drag them in, you can click the delete button or the unlock button. On top of this, if you click delete up here, you can add files and folders to the job here and they'll all be removed when you click OK. Then yes, super simple. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name's been taken over here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.